I'm Wayne Balan. I'll go a little slower so you can see how it works. I'm using something that is called a boat shuttle. There are several different kinds of shuttles and the shuttle I'm using for this is a boat shuttle. And the boat shuttle looks like this. I guess it looks like some type of boat is it probably like a canoe. And I take the yarn, put it through the little slot here. And I'll be ready to weave again in just a minute. This is the leftover thread that was from the bobbin that just ran out and I'm placing it between the warps. And the new one goes, just overlaps just a little bit. About a, they overlap about an inch and I beat them down. And then I continue on with the weaving. This is just my second video that I've made for this channel and I'm learning a lot as I go along. That's usually the way I've been learning my whole life is just by starting something and getting better at it as I go along. I throw the thread through this wool that I dyed. It makes one, two, three, four, five. It's about 10 uh, passes per inch. Now, a new weaver would have to pay attention to the edges so that the edges of the weaving the draw in. I've been weaving for so long that I really don't have to think about that too much. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. It automatically um, works out. Now when I first started weaving years and years ago, that wouldn't have been possible. The edges wouldn't have been straight. There would have been problems that from all the years I've been weaving, those that that just doesn't happen anymore. Now the next video I'm going to release is cutting this off the loom after I finish the about eight feet of this table runner and then I'll make a movie, a video of cutting it off the loom. And as you can see, this is not the only thing that I've woven on here. There are two other weavings I haven't cut them off as I have been going.
there's the one there and the next table runner is kind of a spring color and then then there's one that's woven actually underneath that that is more of a holiday color which is a lot of white metallic gold and some red as I said I put enough warp this is called the warp I put 15 yards on I put enough to weave about four table runners now when I get the table runners woven I think I'm going to weave some more shawls and there will be videos explaining how I pick the yarn out for the, the threads out for the warp and how I am going to thread it, the pattern that I'm going to use and um, the weft, the red that I've dyed with, this red that I'm weaving back and forth is called weft and the shawls will have a different kind of weft than this. I don't know what they're going to look like because I don't even know what the warp is going to look like yet. The next warp after I finish this, this um, table runner. So, I guess that's about it. I'm, like I said, I'm, uh, this is just my second download and I'm learning and, and I find it very interesting and I hope uh, you'll want to turn in, tune in, turn on, I mean, <laughs> tune in to the next video that I put on. None of this is edited, and I'm planning on not editing, 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 not editing anything at all. I'm just going to make the videos and put them out as is, because that, that way, that's just my natural self. without any editing. Well, I hope you like this video and stay tuned. Within the next couple of days, I'll be making more.